What's up guys? What we're doing today is we're going to be replacing the communication card in a Johnson Controls VFD. Uh, for those of you guys that are familiar, this is basically an Eaton drive uh, with a Johnson Controls label. Uh, we need to get access to the inside of the drive, so of course we do have our power off. Uh, this is a, of course the disconnect is down there. You can see here we do have a remote panel on the front, which is what goes to here. Uh, you know, just a straight cable. Of course we unplug it. There is a total of four screws on this panel that basically you loosen them. They actually will stay in the panel, but you just loosen them completely to be able to lift this off. I'll just show you guys real quick just how easy it is to do, doing it single-handed. And the problem with this drive is that since we are controlling it through the SA bus, that communication card is down. And the points are showing offline and we are unable to run the drive. Now that I've got those loose, this just lifts right out of the way. Okay, just like that. Set it aside. Now that the cover is out of the way, I've got to get access back here to this communication board, which you can see the uh, blue plug here, that is where that board is. And the way we're going to be doing that is simply flip up this here. There's two tabs here. If you kind of pull out on them, uh, they will unlock. You're able to flip that up. Uh, you can remove this, uh, you know, a lot of your drives, if you have your display plug straight in, this won't be on there. But this, since we have this cable here, just kind of an extra support for it. But you can lift this up and the drive comes out very easily. Just give it a little bit of a wiggle. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it plugged in right there where I can actually just grab a hold of that plug. Be careful not to bend any of the pins, but if you wiggle that, your communication board will come out just like that. Simply unplug this and replace it with the new one. Got the new card installed. It just literally slips right back in place. Got my connection made down here on this. And the next step is just to put the cover back on and see if we have any success. When you first power the drive back up, it's gonna recognize that you have made a change and it's just gonna tell you that there is a device change, which you can close out of that, or at least for this particular uh, replacement. And here we have our main menu back up. And one thing that we've got to do though is that we've got to confirm that the bus ID is correct for this drive. And if you do not know what the bus ID for this device is on your system, what you can do is open up CCT, go up to the Define Hardware tab of your program, and inside here, what you're going to see is the particular drives, the extensions and stuff like that that you have. Okay, like this right here is for this pump. And what it's going to do is it is actually going to tell me what this device is, okay? And you know, that is what I have on it. Let's see the network settings. If I click here on the top and you see just for a second, this is a controller selection right here, which shows me what's on here. So go over to your network settings, and inside your network settings, it is going to give you that address for the devices on the SA bus. Okay, just right here. Uh, you can see here I've actually got, there's two of these drives here. There's one there, which is 204, and then this one here is 205. Now, the way that you check that is to go into your parameters. Uh, this button here on this particular drive, I'm going to press and hold it for a couple of seconds. It's going to pop in to this menu. I'm going to arrow down until I get to the I.O. and hardware. That's what you want to look for. Press OK. And this is a little bit sluggish. You don't press the button more than once or it's going to skip on you. Go down to the OPTCS. All right. Click on it. And it's got a few things here. I'm going to go down to parameters. Press OK. And right here it tells me the protocol for this drive. COM protocol is SA bus, 
slave address is 205. Now before, what was happening was the slave address was actually going to zero and I was unable to change it and the drive would not communicate. With the new board, I am able to actually enter the, uh, the slave address and you gotta make sure that you have the drive in stop mode, complete stop mode when you do that, okay? Uh, and of course, if you're gonna change it, you would go down here, you would press the OK button, then you would hit edit and it would give you the option of changing it. Since I've already got it corrected, I'm not gonna do that, okay? We're just gonna go all the way back out, just like this. And to change the drive from auto to stop, which you need to do to change some of the parameters, press your HOA button, just like this, and this is where it's gonna give you the menu. If you wanted to turn it off right now, since that's flashing, I could hit okay. I'm not gonna do that, but it's kind of the same if you're gonna switch it back to auto. You would just scroll up to auto or hand or whatever you're gonna do, okay? I'm just gonna give it a couple minutes and it's gonna time out. It's gonna go right back to where it was, okay? Don't really need to change anything. Here we are back at our main menu. Uh, we are in auto and everything is good to go for this drive. Anyways guys, hope this is helpful to you if you do ever have to change one of the communication boards on these drives. Uh, if it is offline on the SA bus, first thing is to check the addressing. If the addressing is correct or if it is at zero and it won't let you change it, it is highly suspect that the card could be the problem. But guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and guys, also check the links down in the description. If you like what we do here, you can find some of the tools and things that I use. Those kind of go to help support the channel. But guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.